Hi everyone, welcome again. Um, uh, today I'm going to do a video about uh, creating an image without a background. So it can be used for several things like uh, um, emails for your websites and then for various other things like uh, for a watermark on your YouTube channel or anything, anything like that, especially anything to do online. So it's going to be really helpful for you guys. So, uh, I'm gonna do it uh, by using paint.net probably you guys have heard about it that's why you're watching this video uh, I'm gonna go right from the start about how to download and then uh, in case people uh, don't have the paint.net software so just go to Google and then type in paint dot net and just right there this comes up so the one that I'm talking about is getpaint.net not this one this is something to do with architectural um, and so right click open on new tab the way you wanted to do it so that's it guys this is the one here so get it now it's a free download it's free to use software you don't need to go into Adobe or Coral Draw or anything um, that is going to make your life harder so this is much easier click on that and uh, actually you need to click again here so it says download now and it will download um, I've already got my download software so which I have already downloaded and installed so what I'm going to do is now open the paint software so paint on it P so that one here this is a normal MS paint which comes with your it's a default in your laptop and this one here so when you click on that so it will take you to this screen so uh, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna create I'm gonna create a watermark um, watermark for my YouTube so this image is gonna be for my YouTube channel uh, you can create it for different purposes but I'll just show you how what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna create my um, account name so what I'll do is I'll click on this text the one here click on there and just my my account name is F is a UK one three okay now that font is too small so what I'm gonna do is I'm um, gonna put it to like 160 alright so and move it something like something like this so that should be enough that should be the right size anyway you guys can figure out uh, what size uh, you guys need and um, now this page is too big for me so what I'm gonna do is now crop this image uh, for that you need to take the selection and select which part of the text you need so I'm gonna select somewhere up to here and select on image and then click on crop to selection so I'll click that so now the rest of the background is gone so we got only a small area which we need to get rid of so you can use it like this as well or you can use only the text it actually depends on what actually you want so what my tutorial my video here is about how to make the background transparent so I'm gonna make it transparent now so for that it's gonna be really easy all you need is the magic wand uh, this one here the magic wand tool so click on that click on the magic wand and then once it's all been selected you can see you can see those um, uh, broken lines going all over um, all you need to do is just press delete okay now that's done now you got this small area here again you gotta be really watchful see this part here is not being selected so you gotta click there again and then press delete again so 
uh, now you can see the background is clear which actually um, is what we want um, now, I don't want this black font so I'm gonna change the color to red and just make it easy for you guys because red is much more visible on a video um, so yeah so there you go guys so that's how it's gonna look now what I'm gonna do is now you need to save this as a PNG file go to save as and then just save it as a PNG you can select it as a PNG so, so it default selects as a PNG file and then you just can name it whatever you want and then just press save so now this part just forget about it so right say auto detect and then press ok, okay. now that's done for our part now all we need to do is <coughs> um, So yeah, that's that's how you do the um, thing for to change the background of um, of an image. You can do this for an image as well. You can do this for a text. You can do it the way you want. If you guys have any problems, please do put it in the comment section. I'll get back to you on how you can do uh, how you can do it depending on your your purpose of what you need. And um, thanks for watching, guys, and see you next time.